around nine months ago, I made a video on how to edit and backup Skylanders. In that video, there was a section on how to fix corrupted Skylanders. This video will basically just be a rehash of what's said during that section of that video. Uh, just condensed down a little more for those that only want to fix corrupted Skylanders, because I know not everybody wants to watch a 20 minute video on how to edit and backup Skylanders when all they want to do is fix a corrupted Skylander. And if your Skylander is corrupted, you more than likely have received this message or this pop-up. But if you have not received that message and your Skylander is completely unresponsive with the portal, that means that more than likely your Skylander's RFID chip is probably dead and you're going to have to get a replacement. But if it's corrupted, it can be simply fixed. With that all being said, I have five different methods to fix a corrupted Skylander. I hope one of them works for you and I hope you enjoy the video. Alright, here we are. This is method one. So method one is actually Skylander Giants on the Wii. And it has to be the Wii version. Don't ask me why, it's just, that's how it is. So uh, if you have the Wii version, just boot into story mode like you normally would just any other way. Now, once you get into story mode, it's gonna say, hey, there's a problem and we don't know what's going on. Now, there's an easy way to fix this that they don't tell you about. Just press the pause button. You can go back to the main menu. Once the game has detected, keep keep the figure on the portal because the game has detected there's something wrong with them. Now, if you go to settings, if you go to general, there's going to be a new option that says reset broken toys, and that's what you're looking for. So if you, re if you do that, it's going to reset him, but it will fix him. And then you can just load back up story, and he should work. And there you go. It says it resets him, but as you can clearly see, it did not reset everything. It more just fixed him. So it looks like he doesn't he still doesn't have any upgrades. Stat-wise, he's still got his heroics and everything. Uh, but this method is not my favorite method. Uh, but there are a couple of other methods if you don't have giants on the Wii. Alright, for this method, you gotta go back to the good old potato camera, because I have no way to capture this. So basically, in a nutshell, you just need to grab your dude, put him on there, and this is the 3DS version of the games. And then you can just reset them that way. Because... When it, it will detect, hey, that's got a problem. So, if you just reset it... And there you go, there's Test. There he is, he's back. Alright, so this is method number three. Method number three is actually super easy. All you have to do is go to one of the games that is on the Vicarious Visions engine. Uh, the games that include this are Swap Force, Superchargers, and Imaginators. And this is honestly probably the easiest method out of all of them too. So all you have to do is put your character on. And in these games, it will detect there's something wrong with it, but it will actually also try to fix it. So you can just press recover. And it will try to fix what is wrong with it. And there you go, there's test. And again, this works on superchargers and imaginators as well, which I will show. Hawk and door. All right, so this is method number four. This is Superchargers Racing on the Wii. And I'm sure this method works on the 3DS version. I haven't tested it yet, but I'm sure it works too. So when you put your Corrupted Skylander on, in this case Jetpack, 
You'll say, uh-oh, this toy has been corrupted. If you keep in this message, you may need to reset your toy. If you press retry, the same exact thing will pop up, but if you press reset... It will reset him to level 1. Keep in mind that the other previous three methods uh, don't actually reset, but they just fix what's wrong on the toy, so this method will actually reset the toy entirely. So just keep that in mind. Alright, so method number five. Method number five is a last ditch effort. This is a PC application that I will put in the description. It is called Skylanders GUI Tool. It's super easy to use. I'll throw a portal compatibility chart up real fast for you guys. Basically, the only portals that don't work are Xbox portals um, or portals that don't have anywhere that they can plug in. So this is what you will see. You will get a folder when you download it called Skylanders GUI Tool. You open it up real fast. Uh, you just go to the application. Once you're in GUI Tool, you will be presented with this. Uh, you won't have any characters on the side because this is a program to save and backup figures. Uh, obviously, you guys are just using it to reset, so you won't have anything on the side like I do. Um, so your portal should connect automatically. If it doesn't, just go to Portal and press Connect. As you see down there, it says Portal Connected. And your Skylander also should auto-scan when you put it on. See, reading for Portal. There we go. There is Jetvac, the corrupted Jetvac. And if your Skylander does not load automatically, just go to Portal and press Read Figure. So, as you can see, Jetvac is here. He's still corrupted, though. So what we're going to have to do, like method 4, is you're just going to have to reset them completely again. Methods 1 through 3 don't fully reset the figure. Methods 4 and 5 do though. So, but since it's a last ditch effort, you can press reset crystal, which it's going to reset the figure. As you can see, all the stats are gone, but you're not done yet. You actually have to go to portal and you have to press right figure. And it will write to the jetpack and now it is fully reset. And I will test them in the game in a second. For those that are wondering how this works with swappers, if you put a fully combined swapper on, I have Gorilla Drilla, for example, it will read the top. And if you only put the bottom of the swapper on, it will only scan the bottom. So that's how you do that if you're wondering how to do that. All right, so now we're in game. We have our fully reset jetpack from GUI tool. And there we go. Once again, he is fully reset, so I highly recommend using uh, method 1, 2, or 3 if you can, but if you can't, using GOI tool or Superchargers Racing to reset is not a bad method at all. And with that, you guys have hit the end of the video. I appreciate you guys watching, and again, if any of these methods didn't fix any of your corrupted Skylanders, uh, put a comment down below or... Uh, join my Discord server and shoot me a message, and I will try to fix whatever is wrong with your Skylander myself. So, thank you all for watching, and I hope you have a good day.